Let's begin with the appendicular musculature of the body. Muscular action. When studying and learning about the muscles of the body, the different types of movements of a particular muscle can be tied to the action of the joints it may cross. For example, a flexion extension joint, such as the knee, flexor muscles cross the anterior aspect of the joint, and the extensor muscles cross the posterior aspect. A rotation joint, such as the shoulder. Muscles involved in medial rotation cross the medial aspect of the joint, and the muscles involved in lateral rotation cross the lateral aspect. This is the organization for this tutorial. As we mentioned, the muscles of the body are divided into the appendicular musculature and the axial musculature. In this tutorial, the appendicular musculature, which includes the muscles of the pectoral and pelvic girdles, as well as the muscles of the upper and lower extremities, will be covered first. Then, the axial musculature, which includes the muscles of the head and neck, and the vertebral column, and the muscles of the perineum and pelvic region, will be covered. A muscular system overview. In this tutorial, we'll look at the different muscle groups in the different regions of the body, including the head and neck muscles, muscles of facial expression, muscles that move the pharynx, and muscles that position the eye. The pectoral girdle muscles, the muscles that position the pectoral girdle and contribute to the movement of the upper limb. The upper extremity muscles, muscles that move the arm, forearm, the hand, and fingers. The muscles of the vertebral column, including the rectus and oblique muscles. We'll also look at the pelvic girdle and the low extremity muscles. These are the muscles that position the pelvic girdle, move the leg and foot, as well as the toes. Also, the muscles of the perineum and pelvic diaphragm. The following image depicts the major muscles of the body in an anterior view. Above the eye is the frontal belly of the occipital frontalis muscle. Around the eye is the orbicularis oculi. Around the mouth is the orbicularis oris muscle. The deltoid, the biceps brachii of the upper arm, the brachialis muscle, and the brachioradialis on the forearm. Also the flexor carpi radialis and the flexor carpi ulnaris. In the hip region, the gluteus medius, the tensure fascia lata, and the vastus lateralis. The quadriceps muscles are attached to the patella through the quadriceps tendon. Above the bridge of the nose is the nasalis muscle. And on the anterior neck is the sternocleidomastoid muscle. The trapezius muscle. The pectoralis major muscle is the major muscle of the chest. The serratus anterior. And the external oblique. The rectus femoris muscle is one of the quadriceps group the sartorius muscle, the vastus medialis, and the tibialis anterior muscle, as well as the soleus muscle. This image depicts the major muscles in a posterior view. The occipital belly of the occipital frontalis muscle, the trapezius muscle which covers the neck and upper back, the deltoid muscle, one of the two heads of the triceps in this region, the triceps long head and the triceps brachii lateral head. The brachioradialis muscle, the gluteus maximus muscle, which is the major muscle of the gluteal group of muscles, the biceps femoris, the gastrocnemius muscle of the calf region, the infraspinatus muscle, the latissimus dorsi muscle, which covers the majority of the back. The flexor carpi ulnaris muscle of the forearm. And the extensor digitorum muscle of the forearm. The semitendinosus muscle. And the soleus muscle of the lower leg. 
the difference in function between the axial and appendicular musculature. The function of the axial musculature includes the following. The positioning of the head and vertebral column. Assisting in respiration during the breathing cycle. And unlike the appendicular musculature, the axial musculature does not contribute to movement of the limbs or their associated pectoral or pelvic girdle. The functions of the appendicular musculature are to move and stabilize the upper and lower extremities and their associated pectoral and pelvic girdles.